this uh, video demonstrates the modeling of anchor bracket using Creo parametric. The modeling sequence or the procedure or the methodology remains same for any of the CAD modeling package but in this case Creo parametric application is used for modeling this anchor bracket. This is the isometric orientation of the model which is built using three default datum planes and one coordinate system. If the dimension is measured for this whole block, Picon analysis measure distance, then its height would be 70 millimeters and the dimensions or the extreme length is considered using the centers of the extreme dimension of this uh, model is about uh, 270 plus the radius here and uh, the radius here and as far as the width is concerned which is equal to the diameter of this bigger circle so when we measure the diameter of the circle that would be around 80 millimeters this is about uh, the physical dimensions of this model how do we model this let us proceed with the CAD modeling tutorial of this anchor bracket using Creo parametric create a new part file click on the new here under the new file types select the part and enter the name of the file as anchor bracket remember in between the words of the file name there should be a hyphen or an underscore the space between two words is not recognized by creo parametric cancel the default template which is inches pick on ok select the unit as millimeters pick on ok here the new part file is now open you can observe the name of the file as anchor bracket hyphen 01.prt dot prt is the extension or the save extension for the part file of creo parametric or pro e or pro e wildfire or pro engineer create the foundation or the base extrude for this model pick on the extrude here pick on the placement define pick on the horizontal plane pick on sketch pick on sketch view draw the cylindrical or a circular sketch from here Enter the diameter of this sketch as 80 millimeters. Similarly, draw the circle over here. The diameter of the circle to be of 64 millimeters. The distance at which they are placed is 220 millimeters. There exists a tangent line between these two bodies. You can find here the tangent lines draw the bitangent line under the line command pick on the cylindrical edge pick on the cylindrical edge similarly pick on the cylindrical curve and cylindrical curve here the extra dimensions inside need to be trimmed or the extra geometry inside this uh, loop need to be trimmed pick on the trim geometry or dynamic trim or delete segment delete the segment and delete the segment similarly delete the segment here and delete the segment here observe that the dimensions and the constraints are perfectly defined here it can be observed that a small segment is retained 
that's the reason why you can observe here two red dots which are called as free ends pick on the make corner or the corner command select this line and select this circular arc so as the remaining or the extra entity got trimmed similarly select the side to be retained here this side need to be retained and this side need to be retained the extra entity will go off now the geometry is highlighted with a complete shaded loop which means the geometry is complete with no open ends pick on the isometric orientation of this block now pick on done this need to be extruded to a depth of 20 millimeters hence enter the value here as 20 pick on done this is the base platform of this block now create a cylinder on this platform the cylinder has the height of 70 millimeters pick on extrude placement pick on define a sketch read the message here select a plane the plane would be the top surface pick on sketch in the placement window pick on sketch view or directly draw the sketch in this orientation pick on the concentric circle here concentric circle using this edge as a reference for the circle observe that the radius 1 and the radius 1 which means this is the constraint automatically taken which represents the circle which is drawn in this sketch is having the radius equal to the existing solid platform circular edge pick on done enter this dimension or the height of the cylinder to be 50 millimeters pick on done and now extrude a uh, elongated block or the elongated extrude on this area pick on the extrude here placement define pick on this same face which is used to extrude the cylindrical block or make use of use previous option from the placement window which represents the same plane will be used for the extrude which was used for the earlier extrusion process pick on use previous pick on sketch to reorient the sketch or draw the sketch in this orientation only draw the concentric circle picking on this edge place the circle there similarly draw a circle at a certain distance from the center point which is having the radius which is equal to the previously drawn circle observe that you can observe one green colored constraint r place the circle there draw the bitangent line from this quadrant to this quadrant similarly this quadrant this quadrant to this quadrant now delete the segments which is not required pick on the dynamic trim or trim or delete segment option from here pick on this entity and pick on this entity they got trimmed there is no extra entity remaining over here similarly trim this end and trim this end it should represent a complete loop which is shaded here pick on the center distance dimension modification to be 90 millimeters pick on done which completes the sketch the height of this elongated block to be of 20 millimeters pick on done now extrude a small a portion which is extended like a ear at the extreme end of this block pick on the extrude here placement define select the vertical center plane pick on sketch 
Now we are into the sketch environment. Since we cannot draw the particular uh, sketch conveniently in this orientation, set it to the 2D orientation. Now take the reference of the cylindrical axis and uh, switch on the datum axis. Now pick on the reference over here. Pick on the cylindrical axis as a reference. Draw a rectangle which are from here to here. Now connect this ends of the line or the rectangle using an arc option from here to here. Draw an arc. Delete this line which is not required. Delete. Observe the constraints tangent and tangent. This circle is having the radius of 20. Enter, which is having the distance from the center axis to this point. Place it here. That is to be 50 millimeters. Similarly, the height at which it is placed is dimension from this point to this place middle mouse button here that height to be 35 millimeters once this geometry is defined set the orientation to isometric now observe pick on done extend or extrude it symmetrically symmetric extrusion to a depth of 16 plus 6 plus 16 enter pick on done the model is now complete. We have made the extrude 1, 2, 3, 4 which are merged together to make a solid block. Now it is the time to remove the material. It is always a best practice to add the material first then remove the material from the block to avoid any errors in the geometry. Now pick on extrude here placement define pick on the top face pick on sketch now draw an elongated portion of a sketch pick on the concentric circle over here concentric circle pick on this edge and drag it to draw the circle of a required diameter this diameter of a circle to be 12 or the diameter to be 24 the radius is 12 similarly place a concentric circle from this end which should have the diameter or the radius equal to the previously drawn sketch in this sketch environment draw the tangent line from this end to this end similarly on this end to this end observe that there are four red dots or the open ends which means the loop is not complete pick on the 2d orientation of the sketch for the better visibility of the sketch pick on the dynamic trim over here trim this portion and trim this portion similarly these two ends need to be trimmed now observe that this particular geometry is now completely filled that is called as a loop or it is called as a shaded sketch. Similarly, enter into the wireframe representation of the model and draw the section here. Pick on the concentric circle. Use this edge as uh, the reference to draw the concentric circle. The diameter of this circle to be 50 millimeters. Similarly, draw one rectangle from this end to this end. Observe this portion of line is not required. Delete it. Similarly, trim the portion which is not required. This is not required and this is not required. Similarly, these two entities are not required. But this should be made symmetric. It has taken already the symmetric constraint. Pick on the center line. Draw the center line and make it symmetric using the symmetric constraint here this point and this point to be symmetric about center line in this condition length 1 and length 1 need to be deleted which means the equal length constraint need to be deleted which is not highlighted here for that 
manually delete the constraint by putting a window around that constraint. Pick on this, pick on delete. Now pick on the constraints over here, pick on the center, sorry, pick on the constraint, symmetry constraint over here, about the center line, this point and this point to be symmetric about the center line. Enter this value as 6. Extension of this rectangle from the extreme end of this block may be of around 5 mm or 10 mm as per the convenience. Condition is that that edge should cross the model so as the complete cut is ensured. Now pick on the default orientation or the isometric orientation of the model. Pick on done. Shaded mode on. Reverse direction extrusion which should cut the material. Pick on options. Cut it through all. Done. This is how the model is being cut. Now put a small hole over here. Pick on the extrude again placement. Define. Pick on this plane. Pick on sketch. In the placement window. Under this orientation, draw a concentric circle using the edge. And draw the circle of diameter which is equal to 10 millimeters. Pick on done. Reverse direction. Cut the material options through all. This is how the model is being cut. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos and CAD modeling practices, please visit my channel and the playlists in the channel.